Okay, so in this video, I'll be solving example 7.2. We'll look at the drag on a vehicle and we'll see the effect of having the windows down and the roof down on the drag coefficient. And so this is a follow on from when we looked at the drag forces in video number 20. So in section seven, when we're looking at lift and drag, it's a little bit more conceptual what we're looking at. So these examples aren't really that complicated. It's just really plugging in some numbers. But uh, nonetheless, I think it's really helpful that we keep this in context with a quick little example here. So what this is saying is, so the aerodynamic drag on a car depends on the shape of the car, yes. For example, the car shown has a drag coefficient of 0.35 when the windows and the roof are closed. But when the windows and the roof are open, the drag coefficient increases to 0.45. Okay, again, that's not unexpected, right? Because you're disturbing the airflow. It's causing more drag. Again, if we've uh, sat in a convertible, you can really feel that, especially if you're in the back seat. If the windows and roof are open, it's asking us, so at what speed is the amount of power needed to overcome the dynamic drag the same as it is at 65 kilometers per hour when the windows and roof are closed? Okay, so what this question is getting at, right, is when there's more drag, you need more power to move the car faster. So it's saying, if you're going to apply the exact same amount of power, so if you're going to burn the exact same amount of gas as the closed off vehicle at 65 kilometers per hour, how fast is that second vehicle gonna be able to travel using the exact same amount of power? Okay, so power, we should know this, is force times velocity. If we remember back to our physics class, so when you go from a force to an energy, you're basically multiplying that force through the distance that it's acting, so that's force times a distance. And then if you want a power, right, you take that divided by time, right? So in this case, when you want a power, you can take a force times the distance over time. So that ends up being that power is equal to your force times your velocity. I'm gonna put a box around that because that's an important equation. So the force we're fighting here is the drag force. So if we go ahead and write that equation from above, we know it's equal to this. So it's CD half rho V squared A. Good. We're going to call them O and C for open and close. So we want, we want uh, the V open when power open equals power closed. That's what we're asked for. Okay, so the power then when it's open will get us the velocity when it's open times the drag force when it's open. That's going to equal CD open half rho V open cubed because it's squared and then multiplied by another one. This one is multiplied by this here, right? And then the area um, when it's open and the power when it's closed in the exact same way is VC, so the velocity when it's closed, drag force when it's closed, and that in the exact same way as the drag coefficient when it's closed, half, rho, V, closed, cubed, area, closed. Okay, now we compare these two, so the areas are the same, right? Area closed, area open, normally that's a frontal area. Half is the same in both of them, it's the same air, same density of the fluid, so when we scroll down, we see if we equate these two things, what we end up with is V open cubed times CDO ends up equaling V closed cubed times CDC. Rearrange, therefore, the velocity when it's open, which is what we need to solve for, equals the velocity when it's closed times CDC over CD open, drag coefficient closed versus open to the one third power. And so we just go ahead and plug in, keep your units here, right? Because we're gonna work in slightly unconventional units, 65 kilometers per hour. Then we were given 0 0.35 and a 0 0.45 to the one third. Okay, sub that all in and the speed you will be traveling at if you put the exact same amount of power when the windows and roof are open is actually only 59.8 kilometers per hour. Okie doke, box that off so we know what we're dealing with. We've kept our units so there wasn't any confusion there, there wasn't any cancellation problems. Okay, so that's pretty interesting, right? So because of that increased drag when the windows and roof were closed, if you push the gas pedal down the exact same amount. So if you're getting the exact same amount of power from your engine, your car's only gonna go at 59.8 kilometers per hour. Whereas if you had everything closed up and you use the exact same amount of power, you'd be going at 65 kilometers per hour. So much faster when your drag coefficients are lower. 
Meaning, of course, if you want to go the same speed, you're going to have to put some more power, right? You're going to burn some more fuel, push the gas pedal down harder to get yourself up to 65 kilometers an hour when your drag is increased. Okay, and that's all for example 7.2.